The Saiyans, once a proud warrior race, made a living by conquering planets and selling them. However, most of the Saiyans were wiped out when their own homeworld was destroyed. Only the Prince Vegeta, Nappa, Raditz, and his younger brother Kakarot survived. Now, each of them approaches the Earth, each with a different goal in mind. So this is Earth, not too shabby. Hey, where's our manners? We should say hello. That's quite enough, Nappa. All right, we need to start looking for those Dragon Balls so we can make our wish. And if you just blew up one of those balls, then this whole trip is wasted, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Surely you don't mean Kakarot. He's a lot stronger than before. He can beat you. Okay, I'll wait a bit longer. Well, look who's here. <laughs> we thought you'd never come. You're going to pay for what you've done to my friends! You low-class trash! I am Nappa! You can't win! Ugh. Ugh. Worthless Nappa! Now I have to dirty my hands fighting this weakling! What? we left Goku? It's so bright! Whoa! His power levels are through the roof! I'm going back! Dad's in trouble! I can feel it! I'm not going to let this happen! I have to save him! Stop it! I'm going to... I'm going to beat you! 
you beat me? <laughs> well, someone's in a hurry to die. Very well, say goodbye to your son, Kakarot. of all Saiyans, humbled by a clown! Having successfully fended off the Saiyan onslaught, Goku opts to spare Vegeta's life. Mark my words, you'll pay for this, Kakarot! You and all of your friends! Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma travel to Namek in the hopes of reviving their fallen friends. Once there, they confront the evil Frieza, who is also searching for the Dragon Balls. Helpless against Frieza's might, they have no choice but to join forces with Vegeta. Meanwhile, Goku has healed and is headed for Namek in a ship built by Bulma's father. His efforts to recover the Dragon Balls frustrated, Frieza summons the Ginyu Force. Can young Gohan survive against the Ginyu Force and Frieza? Will Goku make it in time? Your legs aren't shaking, are they, Vegeta? It's my turn now! Can you force? Recoom! Ha! You best not underestimate me! Easy! Oh, 
It's a weird time to take a nap, but he did say he hadn't had much sleep lately. So, something's coming. A huge power level. It's Frieza! What? This planet doesn't have nights? The Dragon Balls are gone! The Kakarot Sun 2 will blast it all! You think you can outsmart me? You won't get away with this! Wait! I still have one more wish to make! Perfect! Then you can wish for my immortality! And be quick about it! Frieza's coming! Uh, uh, he's here! You miserable worm! You dare to get in my way! Now you will suffer the consequences! Maybe I will, and maybe I won't. Either way, don't expect this to be easy, Frieza. Show me what you can really do in your true form! I can't sense Frieza anywhere! Sir, the escape? There's something coming this way! <laughs> what? This creature is even more powerful than Frieza! But how? You must be Vegeta! My brother Frieza told me all about you and your little friends. Do it! So you finally see what we are capable of. Say hello to Frieza when you see him again. Gohan and the others return safely to Earth, thanks to the Namekian Dragon Balls. However, Goku remains on Namek to resolve things with Frieza. The battle is so intense that the planet itself begins to crumble. Thinking there was no way Goku could have survived, Bulma tries to wish him back to life. However, the wish is refused. 
Goku survived, and he relays a message that he will return by himself. With everyone alive again, Gohan waits impatiently for his father's return. Almost a year has passed since Goku's friends learned of his survival. Suddenly, a terrible power is felt approaching Earth, Frieza. And without Goku to save it, the Earth appears to be doomed. However, a mysterious youth appears and makes short work of Frieza. When Goku returns, the youth claims to be the son of Bulma and Vegeta, from the future. He warns them of a looming threat, deadly androids that will appear in three years' time. Vegeta, those androids seem practically invincible. You really think you have a chance against them? Huh, more than a chance. Just watch. Ha! You turned into a Super Saiyan! But how? I thought you had to be calm and pure of heart! You know, like Goku! Afraid not. There's more than one way to reach the goal. In my case, it was rage, frustration, desire. These feelings burned within me until I was consumed by them, and I transformed. You can run on home now, little man. You'll only be in my way. Are you ready, Android? I don't think you'll find this next move listed in your data banks. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? What on earth? What happened to you? Leave me alone. Is Kakarot in the back? Haha, <laughs> his heart condition seems stabilized. The guy that came from the future was right, Dave. Listen to me, Kakarot. You and I have a score to settle. Once we've dealt with the androids, you're next. You got that? He came all the way to tell us just that? Don't underestimate the power of the androids! We can't beat them now! We have to wait! Once Goku gets better, then we can all fight them together! It's the only way! <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? I am the most powerful Saiyan who has ever lived! I fear nothing! And I don't need anyone's help to beat some stinking android! Not you, not the Namek, and especially not Kakarot! Dad! You Saiyans are far too overconfident. Pride is dangerous if you can't back it up. 
You're a machine! What do you know of pride? I'll turn you into scrap! Power blade! <laughs> 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 No more games! <laughs> Pretty scary, huh? I can't tell if I'm even doing any damage to this thing or not! I'm surprised. You're far stronger than Dr. Giraud's data reported. Oh, now you want to get in the way too, do you? Okay, I'll play with you a little. I'll give you fair warning. I have no intention of holding back. That's it. Not yet. Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! Uh, Welcome to Oblivion! What a surprise. For just a man, you're doing pretty well. And Goku is stronger than you? Ha! He might have been for a while, but now the natural order of things has been restored. Oh, that's too bad. So he must not be very strong at all, because you're not. What was that?! Ah! Vegeta, in the hyperbolic time chamber, you can get a year's worth of training in a day. But it'll only hold two people at a time. I'm going in with Gohan. You and Trunks should try it too. All right then, we go in first. Excuse us, Goku. Everyone, Vegeta and Trunks have come out. So, Vegeta, how did things go in there? If you really want to know, wait and see. Anyway, you'll only be wasting your time if you go in there. By the time you come out again, the battle will be long over.
Vegeta. Why are you here? Surely not to defeat me. Defeat you? No, to destroy you so completely that not even a molecule remains. Yes. Disappointed. No, no, this is all wrong. If only, if only I could become perfect. <laughs> so he thinks he can beat me once he becomes perfect. I can't wait to see him try. Perfect cell, huh? You must be pretty angry with me after that beating. Come on. <laughs> Vegeta, will you lend me a hand warming up? tell you, I'm still just warming up. You're such a disappointment. But I think I'll give you another chance. I'll hold a tournament. Train hard and quickly. Thus, in the shocking conclusion of the Cell game, Cell is destroyed and peace restored. However, the price of victory was high. Gohan tries to wish his father back to life, but... I think the Earth will be safer without me. 
So thanks for trying, everyone. But please, don't wish me back. Trunks returned to the future, and a new age began. Years have passed since the battle with Cell. Now a student in high school, Gohan also fights crime in Hercule City as Great Saiyaman. Hercule's daughter, Videl, threatens to expose him if he does not enter the World Tournament. Hesitant at first, Gohan changes his mind when he learns that Goku will also enter. Vegeta, Gohan's brother Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, and Krillin all sign up as well. But little do they know, the wizard Bobbity is about to launch a plan to revive Majin Buu. care nothing about Sabora or this Martin Fu creature. Fighting Kakarot is my only objective. I am the prince of all Saiyans. Did you actually think I could be controlled so easily? Bobbity may have invaded my body and mind, but there is one thing a Saiyan always keeps. His pride! <laughs> My way. I'm going to fight Kakarot. No, Vegeta! Please! Open your eyes! Vegeta, he's stronger than ever. What is this new power I'm sensing? Majin Buu? I'll have to deal with Kakarot later. Oh! 
seems to have no weakness at all. I can't win. Trunks, take Boma. Take your mother and escape to someplace safe. I must fight Majin Buu alone. No! No way! We'll fight too, Dad! You can't beat him by yourself! Trunks, you are my only son, and yet I haven't held you once since you were a baby. Come here, son. What? What are you doing, Dad? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! I'm proud of you, son. Take these two as far away from here as possible. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. Huh? You won't survive. You know that. There is one thing I need to know. Tell me, will I meet that clown Kakarot in another world? No. You've too much pain and suffering in your lifetime. When you go, it'll be to a different place than Goku. Oh well, so be it. All right, get out of here. Hurry! Majin Buu, I know now what I have to do. I'm going to obliterate you and scatter the ashes to the wind. I do this for Trunks, Bulma, and yes, even for you, Kakarot. Ah! I don't believe it. He blew himself to bits so that Majin Buu couldn't regenerate himself. For the first time, Vegeta was fighting for something other than himself. He made the ultimate sacrifice. What? Impossible! He even reduced to shreds that monster is somehow regenerating himself! Majin Buu is still alive! <laughs> hmm. So I've been sent back to face Buu again. The Buu has only gotten stronger. I'm not sure there's much I can do. This is as close as I can take you. I've got my own safety to think about, you understand? But I'm rooting for you. Don't worry. I'm sure Boo will come to me. Wonder what will happen if he defeats me a second time. Time to argue, Vegeta. Just put this on your ear, please. Uh, why? If if we both wear one of these, we'll fuse with each other. We'll combine to form a single warrior with incredible power. Fusion? You've got to be joking. Why would I want to fuse with you? No thanks. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. But it's the only way we can hope to stop Majin Buu! I'd rather let Buu beat me to a pulp than fuse with you! And why should I help you? You hid your true power from me during our battle! You allowed me to believe I could beat you! But I saw you from Otherworld! I know you beat Super Saiyan 3! You made a mockery of me! I'll never fuse with you! Listen, I'm sorry, but I didn't know how long I could hold Super Saiyan 3! It was still untested. No, that's enough of your lies. Nothing you can say or do will make me change my mind. Do you understand? Nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? Vegeta, Trunks has been absorbed by that thing. Oh, oh. Be Vegeta! Don't just stand there. Give me the blasted earring. Okay, it's on. Now what? Great. Thanks, Vegeta. All right! Vegeta plus Kakarot. Let's see now. I guess you can call me Vegeta. Ha-ha! <laughs> I found them. Huh? Now I'm Super Vegito! Yeah, and... Yeah! 
about. He let himself be absorbed on purpose. He's trying to save the others before he destroys Boo. Wh what? His fusion is worn off. But I thought the effects of the Patara earrings were supposed to be permanent. Who knows what sort of nasty stuff is inside Boo's body. Maybe it dissolved the fusion. Hey, Kakarot! Come here! I found Trunks and the others! Great, Vegeta! Now let's tear them out of here and fast! I feel strange. What are they trying to pull? You freed all the fighters I've worked so hard to absorb! Darn it. This could be bad. have no effect, but I wonder what will happen if we free this fat boo. Stop it! You don't mess with that! I'll lose all that I am! The Saiyan! I thought we were the only ones left! Kakarot! 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 What is this scrap of paper? Seems to have fallen from the sky. Fuse with my dad and fight against us. We'll be waiting at the World Martial Arts Tournament from the Mystery Warrior. 
Is this the work of Kakarot's kid? And his trunks involved too? And what is this talk of fusion? Vegeta, I think a fusion is the only way we can beat him. But if you're still dead set against it... Don't patronize me! I can see for myself what we're up against! I'll do the stupid fusion, Kakarot! That's great! Now watch me closely. We need to perform these moves in perfect symmetry. Like this. Fu... Jun... Ha! What? You never said anything about doing some ridiculous dance! Ugh. Ugh. Let's just get this over with, Kakarot! You, John, ha! I am neither. Just thinking about it infuriates me. Could Kakarot be behind this? In any case, I'm going to put a stop to it. Hey, Vegeta! It looks like you're ready. Not so loud! Quick! Let's duck behind those bushes over there! What? Oh, I get it! Well, when you've got to go, you've got to go! Shut up! Do you think I'm going to let anyone see me dance around like a fool? Now come with me, and hurry! Kakarot, this is the last time I'll agree to this! You... Jiren... Ha! Now then, let's go for some fun and games with the kids! We're better at fusion than you! We won't let you win just because you're our dads! Careful, boys! Your old men still have a trick or two up their sleeve! Give up! You're beginning to sound like Hercule! The following day, Trunks was found training hard in the Capsule Core Gravity Room. Hopefully, he learned his lesson about mocking his father. Thank you. 